Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch, the show that fuels your business success. I'm Brandon Gano, your host and guide through the world of harmonious business growth. Today, we're unlocking powerful strategies with industry experts to help your business thrive. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or executive, you are in the right place. Join me and our incredible guest today on the journey to clarity, growth, and success. It is time to revolutionize your approach to business. Let's dive in with another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Welcome back to some more bite-sized business advice. And we're going to talk about panic and anxiety today. Doesn't that sound fun? Maybe not. Maybe somebody's a little panicked and, and anxious just hearing us talk about that. But don't worry. I have an expert with us who is going to help us get past that and go from panic to power in running our business. So if you're a longtime listener, you know on this show, we talk about business, of course, but we also talk about the other three things that are so important to running a thriving, successful business, the mindset, body, and spirit. So we're going to wrap all of that together today. And we have a very special guest, Shauna Rosenthal. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the show. You are welcome, Brandon. I'm so happy to be here. So uh, just for those of you who may be a little confused, doesn't sound like Shauna is from here, but she's actually from Florida, originally from the UK. I have to know before we get serious on this episode, is Florida a different country than the United States? I, I definitely think that it has its unique vibe. And <laughs> from where I'm from, I will tell you, I love it. it the little town that I'm in, uh, and the reason why I chose this town is because it is such an eclectic mix of everybody, it seems, from all over. And it's a lot younger. The demographic's a lot younger than I think a lot of people feel Florida is <laughs> in, in, my, in my area anyway. And it's full of very interesting people from all over the place. Um, so I've not, this is the only area that I've lived in, in Florida or in the US. I moved directly here and I haven't moved since. So I love it. And that's a testament to it. I was going to say quite the testimonial to that town. Yeah. So, um, all right. Had to ask that question, get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Florida's got some, some stigmas around it, but we love you Floridians. Uh, you are welcome here, of course. So Shonda, let's dive in then. Um, you are a certified hypnotist, which is different than a hypnotherapist. So real quick, I want to, before we, we get into from panic to power and anxiety and addressing all that stuff and running our business, can you just explain the difference for, for the listener real quick between the two? It really is in the training. So I, I'm going to put my hand up and say I'm actually got both. Um, I'm certified in hip, hip, hypnosis and in hypnotherapy. Um, I have a, a diploma in clinical and medical hypnotherapy uh, that, that I got in London 15-ish years ago. But since moving to Florida, I'm now governed by their rules and regulations because I didn't take my diploma here. Um, I can't use it. So I'm not licensed as a clinical medical hypnotherapist. Hip hypnosis here doesn't, the regulations are that they, we don't need a license. So here I'm a certified hypnotist. So my clients get the, the best of both worlds. Um, when we're in sessions, you know, I just pull from all my learnings, all my education, all my experience, and they, they get a wonderful experience. As far as hypnosis is concerned, that's just one element. That's just one element of, of hypnotherapy, right? And there are different styles of hypnotherapy as well. Conversational hypnotherapy or hypnosis, you know, it's a state of mind at the end of the day and it's change that happens fast and it's helping somebody to change their perspective of what it is that they're dealing with so that they can you know live their life without limits and do the things that they want to do without going too deep more deep into it i hope that that explains that's and perfect I, I think that's yeah that's that's the perfect explanation of the of the difference between the two and i think it's super cool that you're you're really both even though the, mm -hmm. the U.S. laws don't recognize you as both, um, or you can't practice both technically, I think your clients win ultimately. So you, the listener in the comments, you have to put down there at the end of the episode, 
do you think Shauna hypnotized me during this episode? You be the judge, okay? So we're just gonna we're gonna see where this goes. I don't even know if that's possible, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. <laughs> you tell me. You, you're about to say something. What were you gonna well, say? Well, I was, and and actually that answers to a very common misconception about what hypnosis is and what it isn't. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump in and and say to you, um, a lot of people believe that it's it's. Uh, somebody else taking over the person's mind and have power over them. But actually what it is, is me helping you to access the power of your own mind. Hmm. Interesting. So what I was describing is more like the, the clown magician hypnosis yeah. stage. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and the stage hypnosis, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a great, often a very great introduction. So people get to know this weird thing called, you know, hypnosis, but there's no need to be scared of it. We can't, we can't do anything we don't want to do. Those people that are on the stage, they're there because they want their 15 minutes of fame. They're buying into the process. It is real. They are not acting, right? Uh, back when I was a student, when I was 18, I went to my first stage hypnosis show and one of my friends got called up onto the stage. It was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen and we still rib him about it today. It's, it was hilarious. So obviously, you know, when you're going into a therapeutic session, uh, the goals are much much different um and when you understand what hypnosis is and what it is i can already already tell that you're you're very uh you're very good at hypnosis i i know that already just by our brief conversation so far so you'd you'd be you know you'd be a wonderful hyp hypnosis subject if you so choose but what i will tell you is that most of us are very good at hypnosis we go in and out of hypnosis multiple times a day we just don't realize it. And if I were to give you an insight and let you know that, just to help you to understand, if you were to change the word hypnosis to focus, now you understand that maybe there are times where you have been deeply focused on something, even though there are distractions going on around you, but in that moment, it didn't matter right? Because mm, yes. you're so focused on what you were doing. You could hear it, but it, it's, it's irrelevant at the time. You're so focused. And then you decide to finish what you were working on or whatever. And then you go and you deal with the noise, the distraction. But that was on your terms, right? Mm -hmm. You had to get into that state for you to be able to complete the task, right? That's a hypnotic state of mind that, that you decided to go into to complete that that task and so really and, that, and another example if you're interested i can tell you uh if you are, are you a driver do you drive yes you've ever been driving on the highway and you're so deep in thought that you yeah. missed your yeah. exit yep yeah. that's called highway hypnosis you are able to be so deep in thought that you weren't realizing you were driving but you were driving and responding to all the other drivers and then you realize oops i've missed my exit or you've arrived home and you don't remember the drive home. That's yeah. that state of mind that we access in our sessions. I'm just there to guide you to then access it and make the changes that we've already agreed that you want to make. Hmm. Make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, I love that analogy too, because we've all done that, first of all. Yeah. So I, I think everybody can relate to that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also curious, the topic of today's conversation is mm -hmm. panic to power, anxiety. So. Um, let me ask you this from my limited knowledge of what hypnosis truly is, is a state of anxiety also then a state of hypnosis, just focused on the quote unquote wrong things. Like how would you define, how would you unpack what anxiety really is before we then go about getting out of it? Brandon, you've hit the, the nail on the head. Okay. We're done with this episode. Thank you for listening. This is fantastic. You know, I I often say to uh, potential clients that contact me because I have a conversation with every single one before I agree to take them on as a client because I need to make sure that, that you know they're really in the right mindset to make these changes. And I say to them, my job is actually to unhypnotize you out of your anxiety because you're in this mindset that you're telling me you don't want to be in but that's hypnosis. You've, you've somehow hypnotized yourself into behaving that way or to responding to, let's call them triggers or your life or whatever it is in a certain way. 
So our job really is not to hypnotize you, but to unhypnotize you. Yeah, I, that's that's interesting. So I'm I'm glad you put it that way, because when when we're running a business and there's mm. all these stressors going on, it could be finances, employees, schedules, uh, you know, customers, whatever whatever it is. There's a million things going on. Running a business is hard. Very easy to get into a state of anxiety. So talk to me about a recognizing that, and then I want to address some things we can do to get out of it, but. How do we even go about recognizing that we are in this anxious and panic state and pausing? Right. So the power is in the pause. The power is in the pause because, look, your um, your brain likes to do things in a habit formation, right? Your brain is all about conserving energy. So, and that's how habits actually keep us safe. Because if we're conserving energy at the brain level, we're in a habit. So it learns a behavior, it gets a reward, whether it's it's good for us or not, it believes it's good for us. And it feels good to respond in that way, in that moment. And so the brain kind of decides, or the part of the brain, that's the subconscious I'm talking about, decides, okay, well, if I keep doing this repeatedly, then I'm going to be okay. And, and the, the end of the behavior is the anxiety, right? The way that we respond to it in our own personal way. And so if it becomes a subconscious behavior, a subconscious response to either the way, the way that we're thinking or our external world, what's happening to us at that moment in time, it automatically then responds in that way over and over again and a habit is formed. So if we can put, a, we call it a pattern interrupt in that uh, response and then teach it another way to respond instead, that, that's the work that I do with people. So the first thing is to recognize it's happening, recognize the very subtle nuances that go on either in your mind or in your body. Very often it's a physical response that alerts us that something doesn't feel right, whether it's a heart racing, the palpitations that happen in the heart, or the breathing constricts and starts getting shallower and, and quicker. Oftentimes we get upset stomachs, um, we get a pressure in our head, our shoulders you know, tense up, they're very subtle. And then it starts to get bigger and more loud, right? If we can start to recognize these very subtle changes at the beginning before it gets bigger, put a pattern interrupt in there and then a plan of what we're gonna do next and make that the habit, do it a few times over a few days, all of a sudden now we're responding very differently and the anxiety starts to, to uh, shrink. That's interesting. And I'm curious too, is this, is it a one size fits all kind of fix? And what I mean by that is let's say the, the same business owner has some sort of a, a trigger around money. Maybe they're just never good with money. So they, they have an opportunity where a lot of money is going to come in very quickly. They mm -hmm. get tense about it. Let's say that same person also has a fear of public speaking and they need to get on stage and, and talk to people. Maybe it's employees, maybe it's just public speaking, maybe it's pop podcast like this. Um, is that the same session or series of sessions with you? Or are those two different problems that you have to tackle separately? I'm just curious how the whole process works. Right. So, so the first thing I'm going to say is each client that I take on, and I've done this forever, is I, do, I, I help them differently. Okay. Um, even if they were, you know, if I had 10 people who were struggling with public speaking, they would they, each session would look very different, right? Depending on them, their personality, what, how I analyze what they need and what they're telling me, I respond back uh, and, and help them in different ways, which is how I can help people as fast as I do, because it's I'm not just forcing them to do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Okay. So that that's the first kind of level. Um, also, if I'm helping one person with multiple issues, multiple ways that the anxiety show up, then we deal with each one, but they're all connected. So it's almost like we're creating a chain link of tools that um, 
will help them in each situation independently, but because they're all connected, it isn't difficult for these things to be effective because they they are in the driving seat. So even though I'm showing them some things that will help them in those scenarios, we're dealing with the anxiety, which is the big picture underneath, and it makes everything else collapse. Mm, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. this is obviously a very powerful approach to mm -hmm. go from panic to power. I like that. I like I like the title. Um, so I'm I'm curious. Then you you get really good results and quickly. I think is yeah. the what shocked me before we started recording. You said about eight weeks is your average duration of mm -hmm. working with somebody. So tell me what that the overview of what that eight weeks looks like for somebody. If if let's say somebody listening is experiencing anxiety. It's holding them back in growing their business. It's holding them back in hiring employees or delegating, whatever it is. They work with you for eight weeks. What's possible on the other side of eight weeks? Where do people usually end up in, in growing their business or just improving their lives after going through this work? As a, everybody's so different, right? But, and, and the conversation I seem to have with each of my clients at the end is they would say to me, if you'd have told me what I'm noticing now at the beginning, I wouldn't have worked with you because I wouldn't have believed it. And I would have thought that you were just trying to convince me to work with you because it's that huge. So I kind of want to hold back like I normally do <laughs> <laughs> and say, it's going to be, you know, everything that you want it to be, even though I will say I don't guarantee because you know, I, I can't guarantee how each person is going to respond, but I do know that they're going to feel so much better, so much more in control of themselves. And the, really the sky is the limit what they do with it after. And every, every other facet of their life has the possibility to improve as well. So I might be working with someone to help them improve the confidence and the anxiety around their facets around their their uh, professional life but that it isn't contained in that it 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 sort of grows into their personal life as well and their their uh relationships with uh the people they care about and some people don't even tell their significant others that they're doing this kind of work they keep it to themselves and in each scenario they start getting feedback from their significant others like, what is going on with you in a positive way? And, and I get to hear about this. They're like, you're not going to believe this. But so-and-so, who you know, I hardly ever spend time with, has even noticed a shift in me. Um, and then, of course, we're talking about the, the physical benefit as well. Uh, in fact, I posted on Facebook, I think it was last week, a referral, a testimonial letter that I got from a client of mine, um, who w went to have his blood press pressure checked and it was down so significantly in four weeks. So he went to the doctor, the doctor told him he had this issue with his blood pressure and he's got to get something. And he's in a high level position. He's a high level executive and a lot of stress. And I think he went back four weeks later and it was, I can't remember the numbers, but it was very significant. And I, and I uploaded that, um, that letter on Facebook, just to like, just it's another piece of proof. I, I call it side effect of hypnosis. There aren't any negative side effects. I'm just always trying to kind of give proof as to, you know, all the other intricate uh, ways people see a difference. Yeah, it, it's, mm. it's exactly why this show exists the way it does. And we have conversations like this because you, you can't just focus. That's actually a perfect example. He focused just on business and didn't focus on his health on right. his mind body spirit when you lack one or any of those four things everything else crumbles you can't have a thriving business whether you're you're an executive and it's your career or you're an entrepreneur and it's your your company so um shauna this is this has been an amazing episode and i feel like we just scratched the surface i mean we we didn't even unpack so. <laughs> the, the side effects of of health and going down that route yeah this is absolutely amazing so i put your uh facebook group actually on the screen it'll be in the show notes along with your website um if you want to go join that group you can mm -hmm. learn a little bit more about hypnosis and how it can transform your life so 
Um, Shauna, thank you again for, for coming and sharing your wisdom on this show. You are welcome. And thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Well, for those of you listening, watching, wherever you are, thank you. We love having you. We do the show for you. Remember, there are more than just, there's more than just business that you have to be aware of, that you have to master, honestly, if you want to grow a thriving business and have a good life that doesn't kill you in the meantime. So make sure you keep listening, <laughs> subscribe wherever you are so we can keep bringing these episodes to you every single day of the week. We'll see you on the next episode of Harmonious at Lunch.